An ESPN reporter is getting absolutely destroyed after she posted a video that went viral about her confronting Tampa Bay Buccaneers player Giovanni Bernard. And let's just say it didn't go very well for her because when she and multiple other reporters swarmed Giovanni Bernard after the game, when he was just trying to go and talk to his family, Giovanni Bernard kind of handled it like a pro, even though it was a little bit over the top. And it ended up being completely embarrassing for the reporters involved. And they have spent the day or two since freaking out at nearly everybody they can trying to justify their decisions and continuing to get ratioed bucks reporter under fire for grilling giovanni bernard after botched fake punt espn bucks reporter jenna lane came under fire for interrogating running back geo bernard after a costly botched fake punt versus the Bengals. When Marshawn Lynch sat before Super Bowl media so he'd not get fined, it spoke to a tenuous relationship between NFL athletes and journalists. Yes, athletes are required to speak to the media, but journalists are expected to respect the boundaries of athletes as well, especially when present in a locker room following a humiliating loss. And this is what followed in the Buccaneers locker room with Giovanni Bernard. I want to show you the play that made this a conversation. This was Giovanni Bernard, who has been injured most of the year. Um, It looks like he may have missed a fake punt call during this game. It's definitely not the reason that they lost this game. Bucks were terrible against the Bengals, but here it is. You can see right there, it didn't look like Giovanni Bernard knew that that fake punt got called. Well, it did not stop, uh, you know, Jenna Lane from addressing him and uh, getting completely and totally destroyed. You'll see the comments are full. Uh, I mean, this ratio is her right here. The very first comment completely and totally destroys her. She has been fighting back and forth with people in the comments for two days now. But let's listen to this exchange and you'll see why. Talking this week. Well, you were injured all year. What have you done for us Sorry. to talk to you about all year? I, I talked to you Tuesday. You, what, just don't, what, just talk. Don't say you're not talking because I didn't talk to you all year. You were also injured most of the season too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just relax. I, can, can, can I, can I go to my family that I have outside? And you all can. of a sudden now? Just, just don't say we didn't talk to you we, all year. We just wanted to ask for your perspective on what happened. You, there. You're involved in one of the biggest plays of the game. <laughs> okay. So this is Giovanni Bernard, who has been injured all year. So when you are on IR, you know, you're not required to talk to reporters, things like that. So that that's what the reporters are saying. You've been injured all year. That's why we haven't talked to you. Now, after he makes a big, massive mistake in the game, not the reason they lost the game, certainly a lot of other factors at play, but he makes a big mistake and all of a sudden they swarm him and want to talk to him. He, at this point, is already dressed. He's already ready to walk out. He's walking out of the locker room. That's what's happening right now. And they ambush him here. And this is his response. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate your time. We do. We won't hold you. We, we would have talked to you in the season, but also okay, you were that's, that's injured. Just tell us what occurred on the, on the punt. Miscommunication, that's all it was on my part. I take complete fault for that. Did, was did it a know? fake? I don't know. It was complete fault. My fault. That's it. Did, Is that something you know the team has a practice It's all me. All me. That's uh, something I did wrong, and that's all. So you were It was aware. all on me. Yep, number 25 out there. That was me. Um, I was the one that did it. But were you aware it was, that it was just a fake? Me. Yeah, I, I messed up. I understand that. But I'm just asking if you knew it was fake. I messed we just up. didn't know if it was a- So then he stands there for 30 seconds, answers the same question over and over again. I messed up. It's me. I'm taking the blame. I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus. It's just me. You know, does does what he's required to do and does that. She's getting fucking wrecked right now because as so many people rightly pointing out, the way that they went about this, uh, the disrespect, what have you done to make us talk to you all year? That was one of the things that the people said. Does seem a little bit disrespectful. And now look at some of these reactions right here. Kevin Durant, Giovanni handled this like a true pro. Not exactly someone who's always had the greatest relationship with the media and Kevin Durant, but let's continue. Ryan Clark, did bros say, what have you done all year? Wow. Jeremy Macklin, wide receiver. Then he answers your questions, says it was a miscommunication, and y'all proceed to ask him if it was a communication for 30 more seconds. Uh, This is James White, old teammate of Tom Brady's. To even post this is just odd to me. He answered your question at the end of the day, which I probably wouldn't have even stopped him if I was y'all, would have attacked me like that. Access does not equal entitlement. I give Gio roses for being a pro in this situation. You and those like you make it harder for the rest of us. This is a blueprint of how to not do the job and insults made it even harder to stomach. Your note is your attempt to play victim here. And yes, she does put this note there. Let's see if we can find it. Where'd I put it? Note, as reporters, it's our job to see clarity on what happened, especially on the most pivotal play of the game. And you can see Jenna Lane right now, everything she posts is getting fucking ratio that has nothing to do with it. Brady was blitzed just three times. 346 comments to 87 likes. 98 comments to 70 likes. 
Uh, this one didn't get totally ratioed, I guess, but you can see, look at the backlash. Look at the backlash towards Jenna Lane and the reason there's so much reason it hasn't died down is because she's fighting. Look at all these comments where she's fighting with people in the replies, getting destroyed and ratioed in the replies. This is going on for days and days and days. I mean, just look at all these. Like, look at all of these. Like, this is all her fighting with people in the comments and getting fucking destroyed. And uh, if anyone asks her questions, this is the irony of all. If anyone asks her questions or criticizes her, she blocks them. Damn, great questions. You guys are really great at your jobs. It was definitely worth it to make a scene to be super sassy to ask the same thing over and over because you weren't getting the answer you sought. I remember this class in Journalism 101. Blocked. That's the irony of this entire situation. Ryan Switzer calls this out. What have you done for us to talk to you all year is one of the wildest things I've ever heard said to a player. What have you done for us all year is one of the most, uh, what have you done for us to talk to you all year is one of the most inappropriate and condescending comments I've ever seen a reporter make to someone they cover. Wow, just terrible. And of course, Jenna Lane is doing her best as most ESPN reporters do uh, to play the victim in this case to say, it's not my fault. We're just doing our jobs. And yes, it's a tough situation, right? Because there was probably plenty of time that you could have talked to Giovanni Bernard while he was getting undressed, while he was getting showered, while he was doing all these things, like before he was walking out of there, but you probably were talking to different people. You decided to ambush him right there, right then, and make him answer these questions, which he answer your questions, and then you wouldn't accept his answer. It is part, it's in, like, they're contractually obligated to make time to talk to the press. But at the same time, they don't need to bend over each and every single way to do so. So Giovanni Bernard's getting a lot of support, and ESPN reporters are getting fucking wrecked right now for being the little bitches that they are. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.